reading fill in the blanks is always a nightmare not understanding how to improve can you give us more insights as in the complete course of reading fill in the blanks with respect to grammar collocations contextual skills and lot many things well if you're wondering then trust me today's video is that video which gives you complete overview comprehensive techniques on each and everything associated with respect to reading fill in the blanks as far as your reading is concerned make sure you watch the video till the end hey everybody knuckle from skills pt academic really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with at another a lengthy video today on reading fill in the blanks complete course today we are going to talk about grammar shortcuts a test is there strategies collocations and each and everything with respect to reading fill in the blanks before we get into the video if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance you can whatsapp us to the number appearing at the bottom of the screen i'll be there we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction all right without further delay let's straight away get into the video let me just share my screen fill in the blanks complete tips and tricks so a lot many people don't have the you know the correct route to solve the reading fill in the blanks they have a lot of energy but they don't know in which direction they need to run I'll, I'll, I'll give you a very simple example just have a look at this question on my screen and try to answer it pause the video and try to answer it uh, post that let's see how many of you have actually gotten the correct answer this is a classic example uh, as to why a lot of students end up getting low scores low scores in reading they practice a lot still marks not coming up because they're cramming the things they're not trying to understand so reading fill in the blanks is like solving a case a police officer cannot rely on his intuition or you know his heart or kidney right he has to find the clues mr david went to a shop to buy a soap to buy a phone both will fit in <laughs> so you cannot just go with your intuition thinking i think i need a soap probably soap is not there at my place i'll write a soap no find the clues in the next line however he was disappointed as there was nothing available as far as electronics is concerned so basically is looking at the electronic product soap is not an electronic product you cannot say electronic soap so it has to be phone so reading fill in the blanks is like this there could be clues there will be lot of clues but our naked eye should just see them so we will we'll give one more example based on the grammar approach so pause the video do it the video is really lengthy so i'm not adding a timer pause the video and do it um, once done resume the video to understand how exactly to do it and what are the shortcuts post this i will be starting with few of the grammar shortcuts and then we will be taking the real questions okay i really hope you have paused the video and trying to solve it i hope now you have finished doing it resume the video to understand what mistakes you done cheetahs are animals noun before a noun adjective before an adjective adverb ends in ly primarily this is one they have a verse dash site site is a noun a uh, a uh, site noun hold on i know some probably may not be understanding hold on but let me just explain you this in my way and then i'll show you the grammar technique shortly site is a noun before a noun adjective comes animals is a noun before animals diurnal adjective diurnal animals good animals good site bad site adjective has to come pre is a noun uh, nightmare site no nightmare is a noun i had a bad nightmare this is also noun i is a noun places is a noun what is left nocturnal easy peasy that's the only thing left nocturnal has to be the second one most always ends in plural most people most restaurant something with s has to come something with s it's only places uh, most common places people end up writing but include zebra is not a place so it has to be pray praise pray you don't have a plural for that pray is considered a plural here pray include zebra gazelle or wild beast so the answers are primarily nocturnal site and pray some may be wondering the way i am doing it the way i am looking at it this is called a grammar approach yes contextual skills are really required you read understand and do it but sometimes knowing grammar also proves to be very very vital because only for the fact that you've got very less time to solve things so when you have an alternative approach which is very fast definitely why don't you learn them correct you read entire thing cheetahs understand and do it or you do via grammar the answer is the same 
So, we are going to mix the approaches. So, now uh, I am going to help you understand the nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs and some shortcuts with respect to after is what will come after has, after have and then I will show you these things probably next 5, 10 minutes uh, we will you know get into these things and then we come back here you yourself would know what I meant by noun, adjective, adverb here, uh, adjective has to come and all those things. And then we have a test for 30 marks, um, we will see a lot many things today, really excited, fine. So, let us talk about noun, noun is something that goes with the word the do not worry, these are very simple concepts, I will not drag much, I will just be to the point. Noun is something that goes with the word the, the boy, the girl, the develop, he develops, the development, develop is not a noun, the city, the development, the association, the relation, the relationships, they are all the nouns, something that goes with the word the or a or an, that is a noun, hold on for a second. Something that goes with the word to, I like to eat. He wants to talk, he wants to teach, he wants to make, he wants to cook or can, he can cook, he can eat, he will cook, he would cook. All these things goes with the word verb, to attack, to sing, to write. And then verb is simple, verb does some action, singing is an action, correct? A noun follows, after a noun, so a verb follows a noun, means there is a noun, after a noun if there is a dash, that is a verb. See the boy sings, the boy goes, the boy develops, the city offers, see there is a noun, there is a verb. So, what can we deduce from this? After a noun, verb appears, simple one, adjectives, there is a noun and before a noun, adjective comes. See here, see here, pay more attention, there is a noun, before a noun, adjective comes. It can come after a noun as well sometimes, but yes, see boy is a noun, that is what we saw here, pay more attention boy is a noun, good boy which is right behind it, cute girl. You can also say the girl is cute that is also there, the red color, quick process, handsome person, beautiful girl is getting it right. An adjective is the one that precedes a noun, a verb is the one that follows a noun. Say so, this is a noun, this is a verb, this is an adjective, usually not all the time adjective can come after a noun as well, but mostly let us understand this way now um, for simplicity sake. So, now comes the adverb, adverb is an extension of a verb, adverb is an extension um, of an adjective. We saw the noun, we saw the verb, we saw the adjective, correct. Now, adverb explains how, he runs how, he runs slowly, he talks how, he talks quickly. He is good. How much good? He is extremely good. He is little good. So, this adverb is an extension of a verb or an adjective. So, this is a noun, this is a verb, adverb comes for a verb. It could be after it or before it does not matter. See, he runs quickly or he quickly runs, but this quickly is coming to runs. So, after a verb, adverb comes. Mostly adverb ends in ly, l y l y. The same way after a noun, or before a noun adjective comes, he is good or the good boy. I am just writing it after for simplicity purpose, he is extremely good. Now, good is an adjective, before an adjective adverb came. Runs is a verb, after a verb adverb came. It is not before after, it is for an adjective adverb comes, for a verb adverb comes. Usually what we need noun is there, after that if there is a dash that is a verb, a noun is there, before that if there is a dash that is an adjective. If there is an already an adjective and you decide that the blank represents how much of an adjective that is an adverb. There is already a blank that is for a verb, but you have to question how much of a verb if that blank represents how much of a verb that is an adverb. Hope you are getting it, hope I am not confusing you much. So, let us get to the previous one. Animals is a noun, before a noun adjective comes, that is exactly why I told you to hold on for few minutes. Now, you get better clarity, before an adjective, it is not like before, how much of diurnal animals, mainly, chitas are mainly diurnal animals. So, this is going to be one. Here, a uh, sight, they have a verse is also an adjective, you can have multiple adjectives for a noun by the way, he is great, good, amazing person correct? Sight is a noun, before a noun adjective comes, 
here adjective has to be there, nocturnal is the only adjective. Correct after the noun has to come, we have prey as the noun, places as the noun, but as per the context zebra, gazelle and wild beast, so it has to be prey. So, using grammar we can solve them like this, trust me on this. So, for the fact now we have understood this nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, noun is there, after a noun verb comes, noun is there, before a noun adjective comes, adverb comes for adjective and verb both, that is the primary thing. And then we have couple of shortcuts, I promise I will not drag it much, I think this is done. After has, have, had, whatever it is, I mean like whatever is applicable for has, it will be applicable for have and had as well. After has, have, had, verb 3 comes, what is this verb 3? Eat is verb 1, ate is verb 2, eaten is verb 3. This eaten, given, killed, developed, they are all verb 3 called past participle, comes with has, have, had. He had, if there is a dash, your I should only go to that option which has verb 3 in it. He had eat wrong, he had eats wrong, he had eaten, they had written. They have deleted, see after have, had, has, verb 3 will come, that is the rule. Rule number 1, remember this, after is, was, or were, verb 3 can come or verb ing can come. It is killed, this is given to you, the file is deleted, after is, was, or were, verb 3 can come, verb 3 can come, verb 3 can come. After has, have, had, verb 3 can come. After is, was, or were, am, verb 3 can come. But after is, was, or were, he is singing, ing can come. He was singing, they are singing, they were singing, ing can come. So, all you got to remember is after is, he is, he is, past tense, he was. They are, past tense, they were. I am, I am also, I can add it here, it is missed. After all these things, if there is a dash, it can be only two possibility, verb 3 or verb ing. After has, have, had, if there is a dash, send person, it is verb 3. Hope you are getting it. So, using these knowledge now, let us try to understand um, more about reading fill in the blanks. I have got a test for 30 marks. After each question, I am going to come back and give you in-depth analysis on how to apply grammar, what is the context, what is the collocation strategy and everything. Make sure to make most use of it. Watch till the end whenever you are completely free, you know like divide off all the other fancy items like Netflix, Prime, whatever it is, get into the video so that you make most out of it. Have a pen and a book as well so that you know you can note down the things and you do not have to watch the video again and again. Total 30 marks, 6 questions, yes, 6 questions each have 5 blanks, 6 questions. I would need 26 and above if you are aiming for 79, I would need 20 and above if you are aiming for 65. But I am pretty sure most of you may get 30 out of 30, the questions are not that difficult today. Okay, for simplicity's sake, I am not adding a timer here because if I add a timer again, the video is going to be more lengthy. So, what I am doing is, I will leave it to you guys, you or else we will do one thing, we will add the timer. I think that would create the same scenario as the exam, I will add the timer somewhere here, um, timer of 2.5 minutes per question, not more than that. It is only 2.5 minutes, once 2.5 minutes is done, I will be resuming. Let us quickly start, apply the things and do it, so that you get to see whether you are progressing or not, what mistakes you are doing and everything. On your mark, let us start.
all right i really hope you have solved it so let me just help you with my way of teaching after i verb 3 should come nakul they have cars i forgot to tell you anything can come but usually verb 3 comes but there are scenarios where verb 3 will not come ring have rings have roots noun the roots before a noun adjective has to come probably you are blindly going with the grammar that's the problem with the grammar probably 70 80 90% of the times it will be applicable but there are some cases where it will not be you need to use the context rings i am wearing a ring i am wearing a ring here rings have dash roots with evidence of their dash dating back to ancient egypt oh that means they have a very old root here adjective has to come correct before a noun clear root ancient root only two are fitting in pay more attention clear process clear goal ancient process the marriage pressed it is their verb or verb to existence the existence the identification clear is an adjective ancient is an adjective let's quickly finish it rings have clear roots no it is ancient roots because with the evidence of they are see after they are always noun will come that's another grammar root his car their car their house see just just you know give it a thought because the word there is a possession it says something is belong belonging to someone after their noun should come rings have ancient roots with evidence of their noun marriage people write no rings are existing evidence of their existence dating back to correct they were present even in ancient egypt around 3000 bce so with evidence of their existence dating back to ancient egypt egyptians noun often is an adverb egyptians verb has to come after a noun verb should come before a verb adverb can come verb has to come egyptians probably 2000 bc they are talking about very old so it should be verb in the past tense we have pressed as the verb in the past tense wore as the verb in the past tense egyptians wore the rings man come on easy correct now we'll directly come here in mesopotamia and ancient persia seals embedded in rings in a ring i have got a seal here let's say why because i want to prove that it is me i'm a king or something probably seals embedded in rings were used for dash were used for marriage never right it was used for identification and as a mark of and is their authority it's identifying and the authorizing entity it is not the marriage that is a trap identification gonna be the fourth one and after were i told you these were killed these were given verb 3 has to come another verb 3 is pressed this gonna be the fifth one see that's what so what i'm telling you is there are cases here where grammar is not helping you to a very good extent you need to get the context but rest of it is all grammar is helping me often were here ancient roots they are existence were is their pressed so it's a mixture of grammar and the context that's exactly what i would like to tell you so by the way the answers are pressed gonna be fifth one used for existence or gonna be third one oh, oh sorry on that fifth gonna be pressed uh, fourth gonna be used for identification and often or their existence very sorry and first one is ancient one is ancient two is existence three is war five is pressed fifth is identification keep a track of the mistakes you have done any doubts do leave a comment in the comment section we move on to the second question lot to learn stay there don't go anywhere uh, the second question two and a half minute timer starting here you go
all right i really believe you have solved it let's quickly understand how to solve this dash in central greece probably dash usually it starts with a noun man people in central greece animals in central greece some noun ye is there this is article concept ye if it is there then singular noun should come a boy a person ye is not there this should be a plural noun boys in central greece residents in central greece rescuers in central greece these two will fit in that's it appealed is a verb ed is there written third form verb 3 r is there face is a verb subject is a verb rest all is verb only residents is a noun rescuers is a noun let's understand the context what did the grammar help you now grammar helped you to narrow down the seven options to two options we are not looking at seven options we are only considering two options in these two option we have to use the context man come on dash in central greece are trying to reach hundreds of people trapped by floods someone is trying to reach means trying to help is not a resident rather is a rescuer that have left villages leaving someone submerged flood is there that have left villages submerged don't have to go with the grammar all the time but here the flow itself in the flood villages could be submerged go in a flow sometimes it also becomes easier prime minister has said greeks dash a very unequal battle greeks is a noun after noun verb comes here here verb is appealed written face you face a battle is it easy so this could be third one the dash in villages it should be residents because we saw dash in central greece noun has to come here also noun has to come so residents in villages have palamas and kaditsa around these villages palamas and kaditsa have dash for food after have verb 3 has to come what is left here written and appealed have written for food and what have appealed for food and water it's actually simple if you go by this uh, but yes if you try to understand i'm i'm actually trying to solve it by the grammar but context also i'm trying to get like flood i saw sub much i wrote correct here trying to reach hundreds of people flood i saw then residents i did not write i wrote rescuers So this way, I'm mixing up few things. Whenever grammar is obvious, I'm blindly going with it. Wherever grammar is not obvious, then I'm taking my time finding the contextual skills, and then I'm uh, you know, going with it. Greeks face is the third one. Residents is the fourth one. Have appealed for food and water as the fifth one. Keep a track of the mistakes that you have done. We are moving on to the third question. Ten marks done. We still have twenty marks left. Two point five minute timer. Here we go.
All right, I really hope you have solved it. Now, let us talk about few of the collocations. Nightly Russian drone on ports are threatening. If it is something is threatening, probably they are going to attack through a drone. So, drone attack is a collocation. See, the strategies differ from question to question. Read aloud, all the questions have same strategy. Repeat sentence, all questions same strategy. Yes, say all questions same strategy. Write a lecture, describe image, summarize spoken text, all questions same strategy. Reading FYB, every question different strategy. So, that is why this is difficult. So, now I am telling you to apply you know the collocation because it demands it. Drone attacks, drone attacks, drone is a noun here, verb has to come here, attacks is a noun, drone attacks. Drone is attacking, that is, drone is going to attack. No, it is a drone attack. Nightly Russian drone attacks, that is entire thing is a noun. Uh, drone attacks are threatening, threatening is a verb. Attacks, that is the clue, first is an attack, which began over a month ago, have, 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 have to have verb 3, verb 3, verb 3, verb 3, intensified as a verb 3, recorded as a verb 3, only 2 will fit in, but here attacks have recorded in recent days, have intensified, has gone up, correct, so this is going to be 2. Each morning brings news of fresh, each morning brings news of A is not there. Fresh is an adjective, fresh process. Adjective comes and noun should come. So, noun if it is singular or plural, if singular is there, ye should come. Singular is not there. So, ye is not there, yes is there. So, ye is not there. This is plural explosions, supplies. Each morning brings news of, news of fresh supplies at green grain storage facility, but you get a news of rest supply or you get a news of attacks. Hold on if you are getting confused. Ukraine is a major global supplier of grain, but the war has after has verb 3, war has verb 3 is already there disrupted before a verb adverb has to come adverb ends in ly severely. The war has severely disrupted what? It is a global supplier of grain, but the war has severely disrupted the supplies. The supplies become fifth one, meaning fresh explosion gonna be third one. That is the logic. What people end up doing? Here they write supplies, done and dusted. Here they are not sure what to write, because supplies is done, no, correct? to their mind supplies is done and they start cribbing over it what can fit in and they end up writing explosion. Where they went wrong? Here a moment of failure, there they should not have written anything, they should have just left it empty. Here disrupted, it is a global supplier of green context, so disrupted the supplies, disrupted is a verb, before a verb adverb comes, so this is going to be 4. Now what is left? Fresh explosions news of explosion not news of supply. So, this is going to be 3, drone attacks going to be 1 and have intensified going to be 2. Actually easy, but still many would have made mistakes. So, you are looking more of it in our course something like this are more than 10,000 questions with approach. At least you do 500 of them scores are guaranteed. So, if you want a quick process to finish off the things in style in the very first attempt join our course definitely you will not be disappointed. But yes in my YouTube as well I have done really good justice. You can read the comments many people have got this course just by watching YouTube video. So, if you do not want to invest in a course then just follow this video as well that should be still fine. Anything is fine for us. Fine guys, so this is the third question done. Keep a track of the mistakes you have done. Halfway through, uh, we are done with 15 marks and 15 more marks are left. Three more questions left. Let us quickly move on to the fourth question. Keep a track of the mistakes you have done. Adding a timer of two and a half minute. Here you go.
All right, I really hope you are finished doing it. Australian Prime Minister, let us understand how to do this. Anthony Albanese is a noun. After a noun, verb should come. Dash to power, he came to power, comes to power, collocation, Nakul. I do not need this verb concept. Correct? Long considered a lag that Australia would now dash emissions. Read the previous line. Came to power last year, promising the country would leave the climate naughty corner. He is promising something new. Long considered a laggard, Australia would now dash emissions. Australia is a noun, would now is fine, that is just a verb, auxiliary verbs, verb has to come. Now is there, so present form of the verb, one, create, create emissions, cut emissions, force emissions, give it a thought, he is promising something, he wants to cut down the emissions, emissions is bad, so as a result this is going to be two. Cut down emissions, become a renewable energy powerhouse and dash the biggest, become a renewable energy powerhouse and dash the biggest polluters to clean up their act the new leader declared. Pay more attention, here long considered a laggard, Australia would now cut emissions, become a renewable energy powerhouse and dash the polluters and force the polluters. See here become a renewable energy and force someone, this is a verb one here, here also one more verb one, force the polluters, polluters are people around, force the polluters to clean up their act, blah, blah, blah. I want to join the global effort, he told BBC dash after his victory speech shortly after or minutes after collocation, is not it, minutes after the victory speech means immediately. Uh, this is going to be 4. It is now a year dash he legislated. It is now a year since he legislated or it is now it is now a year as he legislated Australia's first ever emissions reduction target. So, as he delivered. No, that they are asking it is been a year since he did it as he did it as he delivered. It is now a year since he legislated Australia's first ever emissions reduction target. It is been an year or it is now a year since he did it. It has been a year since I stopped doing something. So, it is now a year as is for reasoning, I went out as the weather was good. Since is also for reasoning, both as went out since the weather is good. Both of them come for reasoning, but since can also come for time. I have been playing badminton since I was young. It is now a year since he told means from that point to this point. I have been waiting for doctor since 5 hours. Since also acts as a timeline thing as the word yes will not act as a timeline thing. Otherwise as and since both would come for reasoning. So, this is a straightforward question came to power cut emissions force the polluters and uh, shortly after or minutes after it is now a year since he legislated actually easy one. Um, here you cannot make mistakes. 5 marks, the last 2 questions are left, we quickly move on to the set. next question. Any doubts do leave a comment in the comment section. Okay. The fifth one, we would go here uh, 2 and a half minute on your right hand side bottom, here you go.
All right, I really hope you have solved it. This is not a very straightforward one. Uh, you may need to understand few of the concepts here. On the first anniversary of his, after his, her, there, I told you remember, noun should come. Remorse is a kind of regret. The remorse, the authority, the throne, the reign, the auspiciousness, the expectations, the reflections, the way or the way, yes, everything is a noun. So, in such cases, grammar possibly will not help you, is not it? Maybe everything say after the noun, after the noun, any person noun and dash on noun, everything is a noun, your grammar will not help you, sadly, you need to get the context. Clues, let us understand how to do these kind of questions as well. On the first anniversary of his throne, no, first anniversary of his ruling, he came to the throne or throne is that position. So, on the first anniversary of his ruling that is reign, you need to know the meaning of it. On the first anniversary of his reign, King Charles will be spending the day quietly and privately at Balmoral with prayers and dash, with prayers and dash on, which word goes with the word on. See, if a person really wants to do it, there are thousand ways to do it. At the end of the day, you, you need to be that person who tries to find some clues because you do not want to give up. Here with prayers and auspiciousness, randomly because your kidney, heart, mind, everything says why? No idea. Auspicious on the life, reflections on the life, reflect on is a collocation. It is the dash the queen used to, it is the way we used to do, it is the way that is also collocation. It, it just goes with it correct to mark the date of his own accession to the accession accession is to climb up accession to the dash collocation accession to your seat or accession to the throne and the last one any dash off 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 i have a lot of expectation of this place or from this place both will go any expectations is the only word that is remorse off you don't say auspiciousness off you don't say you read it here it's highly appropriate image of continuity because this year has been much more about stability and reassurance than about change or reform not much of the changes we're going to stick to old methods any expectation of modernizing something so far, I have been put on hold. Get the context. You read the previous para, you would understand. No expectation of modernizing something. That is the context. Any expectations of a modernizing monarch? So, first is reign means ruling. Second is reflections on. Third one, it is the way the late queen used to. The fourth one, accession to the throne. Write down in a piece of paper or a book. Accession to the throne is the collocation. And the last one is any expectations of this change will likely to be put on hold. Keep a track of the mistakes you have done. We will go to the last question, perhaps yes, the last question for today. It is a simple question, nice story is there, two and a half minute at the bottom right, on your mark, get set go, ready.
all right i really hope you have solved it the last question let's understand how to solve them a turkish cryptocurrency boss and is two 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 people two sisters two brothers two siblings simple see the grammar will help you you just need to be more aware to do them quickly something with s has to come halts is a noun denied is a verb ed collapsed is a verb ed acted is a verb ed extracted it extradited is a verb ed defrauding is a verb ing this is a noun siblings the siblings the halts halts can also be verb he halts the halt it is going to be halted is a verb the halt the halt happened halt can also be noun i believe a turkish cryptocurrency boss and his two siblings 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 have been jailed for 11000 196 years each for dash investors of millions of dollars the the cheating terms right it's called defrauding defrauding investors you need to know them context um, farooq fled to albania with investor assets after his thorax exchange suddenly exchange is let's say like a stock market he fled because something happened here the market went down stock market or exchange suddenly collapsed exchange his third x exchange his car this is a noun suddenly is an adverb here verb has to come everything is a verb here you need to get the context so i did not write on denied acted i did not choose i did not choose yeah so it has to be collapsed because third x is like a market let's say stock market collapsed he was dash back the word that always goes with the word back is he was taken back extradited back this guy went to another country from the these people the policemen went there took him back that's called extradited extradited back to turkey in june and found guilty of money laundering also told the court he would not have dash so amateurishly he would not have after have verb 3 he would not have acted he would not have denied he would not have denied so amateurishly if his intent was criminal no he would have not acted means flying to another country and seeking shelter because he has made some fraud here he said in front of the court i wouldn't have acted so amateurishly act childish act amateurishly that is the collocation so this gonna be five it's actually this easy i know many are wondering when you solve it it, it looks so easy but when we solve it it is not it will happen over the time just pay more attention to the approach you may get lot of websites lot of questions in the internet but nobody gives you the approach correct if you learn the approach here try to implement that in the respective websites or the youtube channels that you practice on that approach is the one that helps you every day if you practice 1 plus 1 is equal to 10 how you will we you know ever will you be able to solve a bigger mathematical problem give it a thought give it a thought give it a thought keep a track of the mistakes you've done defrauding uh, is the second one investors defrauding investors first is siblings third is collapsed fourth is extradited back and not have acted so amateurishly and here it is um the total 30 5 5 5 5 5 5 Let me know in the comment section as to how much you've got. The questions were really easy. I was expecting 26 and above, close to 27 for a 79 plus, 20 to 21 close to for a 65 plus. Do leave your valuable comments. It it would really mean a lot if you do comment um, as to how much marks you've got. And based on that, probably I could next quest next video I could increase or decrease the complexity. Thank you. So that's all from. Uh, skills pt academic today how you felt about the video do leave your valuable comments we'll be really really happy to look into them and understand uh, what feedback you you have for us for uh, for me anytime you need online assistance you can whatsapp us to the number appearing at the bottom of the screen i'll be there we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction fine this is nakul n a k u l by the way a lot many people have mispronounced this it's n a k u l this is nakul signing off from skills pt academic soon i'll be back till then take care